Hello everyone, my name is Gandolin, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to complete the Legion quest achievement called Leyline Bling. Those of you who are fans of the artist Drake will probably recognize this as a reference to one of his songs. Before we get started, I wanted to give you a little bit of a lore background on this achievement. Some of you might be wondering what exactly a ley line is. Well, they are these channels of arcane magic that run under the surface of Azeroth. They cover the whole planet like a network. And the denizens of Azeroth can use these ley lines, they can tap into them for extra arcane energy. It helps them cast spells, open portals, things like that. So the idea behind this achievement is to activate the eight ley line conduits that are located throughout Suramar. You activate them and you direct their energy to Shalaran. We're helping out the Nightfallen here, they're always looking for new sources of arcane power since they were separated from the Nightwell. Additionally, you need to activate all of these ley lines to complete the first part of the Suramar storyline, the part that was added in 7.0 with the achievement called Good Suramaritan. In order to progress to the new 7.1 storyline, you have to activate all of these feats. Now in addition to the achievement, there are a couple of extra rewards that you get along the way. As you activate the Leyline Feeds, you get a bunch of Reputation with the Nightfallen, which is really helpful for getting them to Exalted, something else that you have to do to progress to the next part of the story. And there is an increasingly powerful buff that can be cast on you that helps you collect Ancient Mana as you're going around Suramar. Remember, Ancient Mana is the special currency for the Nightfallen. So let's get started! Just like with the portals, you'll need to recruit another Nightfallen character before you can start working on the ley lines. This time you're going after Arcanist Valtois. Once you complete the quest line to recruit Oculith, you'll get another quest called Tapping the Ley Lines. This will ask you to go to Anora Hollow and check out the ley line station that's located there. In order to get there, start from the Runes of Elunith, which is directly above Shalaran, head across the road, and a little way up the path, you'll come to a fork. Take the left road down into the canyon, follow it all the way, and you'll enter the area called Honora Hollow. That's where you'll find Valtois. Once you meet up with her, you'll head inside the station, she'll explain a little bit about the ley lines and how they work, and she'll ask you to solve a puzzle to activate station number one, Honora Hollow. After that, you'll return to Shalaran with her, and examine the leyline feed on the lower level. Once that's done, all the other ley lines in the zone will be available. They're a little bit easier to find than the portals, despite the fact that they're all located underground, because they all have a quest marker that can be seen from the surface. So now that they're all unlocked, let's take a look at the rest. These are in no particular order, and I should mention that though the first one was free, the rest of the Leyline Feeds will cost between 200 and 250 Ancient Mana to activate, so make sure you have some with you. Leyline number two will be Moon Whisper Gulch. To find this one, you'll want to start at the Iron Grove Retreat Flightmaster. Head east, and you're going to run through a whole bunch of mobs. First there will be wolves, then basilisks, then mana savers. Eventually, You'll come to a bridge that leads up to the Moonguard Stronghold. You don't want to go over the bridge, but a little way down the hill, there's a river. You're going to want to head north across that river, and you'll see the entrance to the Leyline Station. Once inside, head to the center area of the underground chamber, that's where you'll find the actual Leyline itself. This one gives you a quest to acquire the Broken Ladar Dish. This is located on the Etten that's just back outside. He is elite, but you should be able to solo him as long as you avoid his two ground slam attacks. Once you have the dish, head back inside and give the conduit the dish and 200 ancient mana to activate it. Leyline number three will be Moonguard. Again, you're going to want to start at the Iron Grove Retreat Flightmaster. This time, you're going to head north across the river and make your way up that path towards the Moonguard Stronghold. Stop once you reach the stairs, and you're going to head west. You'll fall down a little bit and head across the river, and up the hill you'll find the entrance to the Leyline Station. Head inside, head to the center, and pick up the quest for this conduit. This one wants you to collect six Leyline Feed Fragments from the Elementals in the area. 
Once you have the fragments, give them and 200 ancient mana to the leyline to activate it. Ley lines number four and five are both located in Falinar, so that's where you're going to want to head next. The portal from Shalaran can get you there quickly, but if you don't have it yet, then just head to the western area of the map. There are several entrances, one at the Temple of Faladora, and another at the big hole in the ground. Once you're inside, you're going to want to go to the lower level where all the spiders are. Head for the room that's on the right side of the map. Once there, you'll have to defeat a couple of enemies, there is a rare mob that isn't too difficult to defeat. You'll accept the quest for the Falinar North Leyline, which requires 250 ancient mana. Once you're done with that one, you're going to want to head for the large circular room towards the bottom of the map. This is the Falinar South Leyline feed, and it also requires 250 ancient mana. If you want to get out quickly, you can continue along the southern path on the map. It will lead you up and outside. Leyline number 6 is called Halls of the Eclipse, and it's located inside Fell Soul Hold. So that's where you're going to want to go. You can either take the portal or just walk there, there isn't really a benefit to either one. Once you're inside the crater, you're going to want to go towards the southwest corner to find the entrance to the Leyline Station. Once you're inside, the quest will ask you to give the Leyline Station 250 ancient mana to activate it. Leyline number 7 is called Elor Shan. To find this one, you'll want to start at the Crimson Thicket Flightmaster. Head down the hill and go to the left into an area with some small pools, and you'll find the entrance to the Lay Station. Inside, there are a bunch of Nightborn that you'll have to defeat. Once you reach the conduit, you'll have to give it 250 ancient mana to activate. The final ley line is called Kelbalor. Again, you'll want to start at the Crimson Thicket Flightmaster. Head southwest along the road, heading towards Suramar City. Eventually, you'll reach a ruined building on your left. When you do, you'll want to make a right, heading to the northwest. You'll find another path connected to some stairs that go down. There's also a banner there to look for. At the bottom of the stairs is the entrance to the Ley Station. Once inside, you'll have to defend the Leyline Feed from three waves of withered mobs and give it 200 ancient mana to activate. So those are the eight Ley Lines that you need for this achievement. In total, you'll need 1,600 Ancient Mana to activate all of the Ley Lines. Now this is a ton, and initially you can't carry that much, but there are ways to increase your capacity. There are items you can pick up, and some of the storyline quests also reward increased capacity. My next video, coming next week, will show you all the different ways to increase your Ancient Mana capacity, so make sure you look for that. So that's it for this video! If this guide helped you, please leave a comment and give it a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, and let me know if there's something that you need help with. Leave a comment down below. Subscribe to see all of my future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.